What is going on, YouTubers? What is up? Flankster117 here. Another unboxing and review. I am extremely happy Wonder Woman Ultimate got delivered early. This is like rarely happened, especially with UPS. I've never seen them deliver on the weekends. It's always weekdays for me. But here we got it. Wonder Woman Ultimate it comes in two boxes, one right here and the big one. I'm gonna open the little one first, which is the bust. Uh, the ultimate bust, I believe. So we're gonna open this one first, then we'll get on to the big one. So two boxes cost me 50 bucks to ship this bad boy. And I am super, super happy. I remember seeing this in person and it just blew my mind. I loved it so much. I pre-ordered it day one the ultimate version so I really liked both portraits and for me this was always the best of the Justice League statues you now I just love Gal Gadot love Wonder Woman the movie plan to watch it right after I unbox this and this one did sell out very quickly I believe it was first day limited to just 350 and I got 224 <clears throat> The moment of truth. Oh, snap. Actually, this is the crossed arms one. Wonder Woman Ultimate. Boom. There is an included shield and sword. So here is the shield. Pretty lightweight, but it looks amazing. Put that over there. Next you have a sword, which actually has a bunch of tape that I'll need to cut off. Alrighty, so here is the sword. Bill's plastic. I know that, you know, another collector showed that you can bend this so you can fit it in. It looks good. Not quite as good as the half scale sword, that's for sure. Next will be the actual Wonder Woman crossed arms. I do plan to display the crossed arms for the most part. Here she is. beauty here she is I cover this so the strap and the hair don't ruin it is leather strap and there's a button here for the light up as far as I can tell it just goes like this There we have it. So this, you can buy as a standalone for 350 bucks. So there she is. I'm actually just gonna put her over here for now. Yeah, she's a thing of beauty, all right. So that's what came in the little box, and you can buy just that if that's all you can afford or want for 350 bucks. So, see that efficiency? Just quickly put that styrofoam right back in the box. Boom, and done. Boom. Done with that, let's get on to box number two, which is the pride and joy of the ultimate getting an additional special portrait now this box is obviously much bigger does include the instructions and 
everything. Lots of instructions, actually. And another Prime One calendar. Or this one just shows all the different products. So, looking at this. Changeable batteries. So you have to turn the light up on by taking the bust off, which immediately to me tells me I'll use it only once to test it and then never use it again. Just because I hate that. I have to do that. All right. So this is the bottom. So this got delivered right as I was at the freaking gym. I'd been at the gym for like 30 minutes and it got delivered. But you know what? I've been waiting two years for this. So I said, screw it. I'll quickly finish my workout. I was doing tricep and then I left. Not many statues all, you know, shorten my gym time to open, but for Wonder Woman, she gets the exception. I'm just happy to finally complete my Justice League, get Wonder Woman. I set up my additional shelving unit I needed for my Marvel Infinity War Endgames. I'll show you guys in a minute. All right, I believe that's everything. Uh, one more side. Yeah, one last side, and then we got everything. this freaking is so this is the feet the upper body I'm assuming the base is down low <clears throat> base sword shield and they actually did a mixture of the like sideshow cloth and their giant cloth look at this thing it's like a blanket Decent weight. See down low. Just like all the other bases, this one has rock and gravel up top. Obviously, the Wonder Woman logo, just like all the other ones. Really love how they all just match and complement each other so much. So, here's the sword and shield. I'll get that later. I don't want to waste your guys' unboxing time. So, I don't want these unboxings to be super long. And I know myself, if I'm watching an unboxing video, if it's longer than 10 minutes, I'm fast forwarding. But I think this is also good for, if I ever sell these in the future, I wanna go back and see how I unbox them. I think it'll help me as well. It's crazy just having like just a lower half of Gal Gadot. <laughs> All right. Here she is. Great ass. Check that out. Boom. Display just that. That's a strong magnet. Yeah. So it does come with a velvet uh, right here that you can display. Just leave that. 
not a ton of parts to this. Here's the ultimate portrait. Yeah, that ultimate portrait is killer. Showing a little bit of teeth. I wonder, do they even? No, this one doesn't have the light up. Just the other one does. she is. Go ahead and put this on. Boom. There we have it folks. Wonder Woman Ultimate Statue. She cost me $1,300 for this beautiful statue. So far I can't see any damage. I'm going to have to assess it, pull out the other sword and everything and shield, and we'll get her set up with the rest of the league. So hold on, folks. Alrighty, everybody. So I got the Wonder Woman Ultimate Edition all set up. It's here on my table. Go ahead and give you some good all-around, you know, videos of this so we can determine was this worth the two-year wait? Is this the Ultimate Wonder Woman? <laughs> so let's check out the bus first. There's the face. I think it looks killer. Love it. The paint on the skin looks great. She does have skin texture. I don't have the batteries to light this up, but I've seen another collector do it and it's not impressive. So need some triple A batteries if I'm going to light that up. So here's the chest. Looks great. It's leather straps with real rope. Costume is extremely similar to the half scale in regards to paint and overall look. The sword and shield is good, but it's more or less plastic where on the half scale, it's like real metal and polystone. So it definitely is better. So here's this head, looks great. Big fan of this one, especially the pose. I didn't have a big problem inserting the sword. There's a technique I did to really insert it. Took me 10 seconds. So you basically push the sword, you know, through the two loops and then push it all the way through, get the two loops on the back and then just slide it in and then slide it bend. It was easy. So it's not very difficult. So this is just comes around over her. This is optional, of course. It does look good, though. She wore this in the movie we, at, right when she was comforting Ben Affleck. So here's this head sculpt. This one has not quite as fierce look to it, which fits the pose good. Both have very good likeness to Gal Gadot, I think. And look excellent. The hair looks good. I'm always torn between, you know, sculpted and, you know, real hair. As you can see, the half scale over there has real hair, or this one's sculpted. The problem with real hair is it gets kind of fuzzy. There's random hairs everywhere. Obviously, it looks more realistic, but do you want to mess with all that hair? You know, then again, you could say the same thing about these lassos. You know, they're not perfectly shaped you know, like the sideshow one is, but these are in general, very good looking lassos. They seem high quality, just like the half scale. I'd say it's pretty much the same material. Obviously on this one, you could see her chest area more. So you can see, overall looks fantastic. She's holding her, she actually is holding her hips. Mine seem to be pretty even on the way they're holding. And her legs, very detailed throughout. Overall, great paint job. It really is just like a smaller version of the half scale with sculpted hair. Slightly different face though. The faces are a little different. So here's the base, similar to all the other Justice League bases with the, 
you know, Apocalypse theme. It has a star at the bottom and then the Wonder Woman logo. And hers is just like dirt, gravel, bricks. You know, it's, so it's like they try to do one a theme for each of them, but this fits in. I think it looks overall great. Go ahead and check that out. It's very big, you know, 33 inches tall. These Justice League are very big. Fortunately, there was no damage. I can't see any big paint issues. Mine seems solid all around. But I'm very, very happy with this. You know, I saw the prototype in person and I don't see much of a difference now versus seeing the prototype. So having it now in my collection, two years later, I'm very happy, you know, I do need to test out that light up feature eventually, so I'll do that once I get my AAA batteries. But let's go ahead and set her up in the league so we can see how it looks finally completed. Alrighty, everybody, before I get to that, I wanted to show you the new shelf I built. So it's a 50 inch tall Stuva with the Black Panther inside. It got, you know, everything I had in the previous setup and it has a blue light so you can actually see just, you know, with this, all the special Wakanda features. So that's pretty cool. I plan to have either Thanos bust up top or the one fourths, depending on how that looks. But now let's move to the main show. Boom, Justice League line completed. Still need my additional mother box that's being custom made. It should finish Monday and ship out. And then I should have it in a few days. But here it is. I always wonder if I should display Wonder Woman one third bust separately. But for now, it'll go right there. I'll probably end up s switching it out, we'll see. But wanted to show you the whole league. Of course, underneath is Green Lantern and Superman to really complete it. The only other one I guess you would truly need is like Martian Manhunter. He's another main member. But finally, 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 here they are. What a beauty. So Wonder Woman is definitely phenomenal. Absolutely love her. You know, she still stands the test as my favorite Justice League statue and couldn't be happier, really. You know, I'd really like having her with Batman and Aquaman. You know, I felt like those three were the main stars of the movie. You know, Superman was in it for a very little bit. He didn't do much, you know, so besides I got that Superman, which is the best Superman in my opinion, and the side show to, tr so no space for the additional Justice League Superman. Besides, he doesn't look too great in my opinion anyways. The pose, outfit, and detail looks not very good. So here is Wonder Woman. We will dive deeper into her now. So see size reference next to the other League members. You know, she is just as tall. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna take off this little thing here so you can see her without it. Cause it does cover obviously some of her. You see a lot more skin now. I like it with both. I think, you know, honestly both, both are great options. I like seeing all the skin though. Sorry folks, my fat brother decided to call me and it canceled the film. So, yep, so here's Wonder Woman without her little velvet rope type thing, scarf, whatever the heck you want to call it. I do like it with it, but I think it is better without it. So you can see the extra skin and detail, you know, but that velvet thing is pretty nice. Let's go ahead and check out the switch out now. Alrighty, so here is Wonder Woman with the crossed arms pose, which obviously matches the poster behind it. Uh, both posters actually, she's in the crossed arm pose. So for now, I'm gonna be displaying the crossed arm pose. I really like it. You know, I love uh, how Wonder Woman does that as one of her signature moves. You know, it's almost like her Kamehameha, and I really love it. I love when she does it, and it's such a cool look. And so I'm going to keep it like this for now. With the Velva, I actually even displayed it like that and have it dangling down next to my Chucky. So here is the crossed arms one. Now, like I was saying, just phenomenal sculpt and paint all around. Love the face. Eyes look very detailed and great. The costume looks very good, you know, it reminds me of my half scale. You know, I'll show you that actually now so you can see the difference. So look at the half scale face. Obviously her, you know, she's a little bit more detailed. She has half scale, like her lips and eyes. She has real eyelashes. 
and her skin texture is a little uh, about the same roughly but she's absolutely beautiful one of my favorite statues in my entire collection same with my pennywise but yeah this wonder woman is definitely for me a, a grail you know i give this a solid 10 out of 10 it's you know highest of praises and I'm very, very, very happy to finally have this in my collection. And luckily, everything fit perfect. I just need my third uh, mother box, which, you know, I'll probably display actually on top, to, you know, form like a little triangle here. Let me know what you think about having the bust next to it. Do you like having the bust or do you think that should be displayed somewhere else so she's not there? Uh, for now, I'm displaying her with it. I'm gonna keep it just like this. So, yeah, if you're on the fence about getting the regular version, which is, you know, just this one, without that, I would highly recommend getting it. You know, it could be a great standalone piece, or if you just want to go for the Trinity, or even, you know, the full Justice League line. There's still two additional statues, technically, of this line. You got the Tactical Suit Batman and the Superman, both of which were my least favorite in the entire line. These were the five I wanted. You know, they were the main stars of the movie, you know, on the poster you see there. So apologies about any background noise. The wife is watching a movie, but I needed to open that door to allow the extra lighting. Otherwise, lighting will look bad. Let me show you with this off. There's my boy Raiden. Say hi to everyone on YouTube. He's a super happy little boy. But yeah, there's Wonder Woman, everyone. Let me know what you think. Which pose do you prefer the on the hip ultimate or the crossed arms. You know, they both have, you know, strong poses, different faces. I'm glad they do have different looks in the face and it's not the exact same. You know, this one's more fitting for that pose, more fierce looking, where this one's more calm and just shows off her beautiful face. So the other little thing I saw in the back, by the way, just here, where it was little velvet like stickers you can put on there so when you're switching it in and out it doesn't scratch anything so i did put all four velvet things on her to prevent any scratches it is kind of difficult to do the switch out just because when you take one off here where do you put it it's like you almost need two people one to take it off one to take that off and then put that on and so forth i just rested it on a blanket which i don't like doing but ideally you'd want two people doing the switch out yeah, all around, this is a beautiful statue and 10 out of 10 of my but absolute grail. Love this line. This is actually one of my most expensive lines I now own. You know, this whole set costs like 5,500 bucks, you know, and that's more than any of my other lines when I thought about it, but it's one of my favorites now. So absolutely love it. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Got more videos to come next week. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.